The victims are calling it a brutal hate crime. Several Fort Carson soldiers were jumped in Colorado Springs and badly beaten, and they believe they were attacked because they're gay. News First Five's John Romero joins us live near the intersection of Austin Bluffs and Barnes where this happened. John? Well, thank you, Nicole. One victim has a badly bruised face. The other had to have his jaw wired shut after oral surgery attack, seemingly because they're gay. Now, today, police are still looking for suspects. The victims left wondering how this could have happened. We do warn you, though, the images you're about to see are very graphic in nature. It would have been just one or two of us. I mean, God knows what could happen. A group of Fort Carson soldiers and their friends try to pick up the pieces. Their car a bloody mess after a seemingly senseless hate crime early Saturday morning at this restaurant in northeastern Colorado Springs. Basically, I jumped by like 10 or 11 of them at once. Chris, one of the victims and a gay soldier who asked we hide his identity, tells us a group of black men and women took exception to the way one of his friends was dressed. Walked in and immediately um, one black male um, started making remarks, um, faggot. They tried to leave when the shoving started, but they tell us when they went out into the parking lot, it was an ambush. At that point, it was basically a bum rush, turn around and my friend was laying on the ground being stomped by six um, black males. Chris and his friends, outnumbered, were brutally beaten. Another female friend of mine was trying to fight off three or four men. Two were rushed to the hospital with severe injuries, including one with a fractured face. He was bleeding very badly, and at this point, his jaws are wired shut. A friend who was with them earlier that night that, you know, can't believe it. They just didn't like who we were. They didn't like our, our lifestyle, and I think that's just ridiculous. Police are looking into the possibility of hate crime charges when the suspects are found. Those basically make it a crime for, for any kind of bodily injury or e even um, harassment, those kind of things. Uh, if it's based on ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, we can charge people with that. As for Chris, he's still in shock about um, the entire ordeal. I and a few other friends of mine that were there the night have fought for this country. And you would think that you would get respect for that, but it's apparent that you don't. Again, here's a description of the suspects, which is still very vague at this point. The, sus the suspects were described as at least five black males and two black females. The only suspect vehicle description is a silver passenger vehicle or sedan. The primary aggressor in the, in the assault is described as a black male, five foot five inches, 135 pounds, with a bald head. Of course, if you have any information on this brutal attack, you are asked to call Colorado Springs Police. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, John Romero, News First Five. John, thanks.